Hi there. So I've been trying to start this marketry kit I was describing in an earlier video. And so I got this on eBay um, years ago because I fancied trying it out. Uh, but I decided to make up my own picture rather than try and make the uh, picture that came in the kit. Uh, so my parents um, have got this um, picture of one of their old houses that one of their friends made them out of wood. So marketry is basically inlaid wood. And this is their house they've been in for about 20 years now um, and I'm going to try and make a similar picture of that. So it comes with some instructions, some general instructions on how to do marketry uh, but it's quite uh, complicated the instructions and I wondered how I was going to get on with it but it actually seems reasonably easy. Um, so I outlined in red on the um, picture of my parents house that were which areas I was going to make of different wood to sort of simplify it down. And then I've also listed out the different woods that I'm going to use for the different things like the sky, the roof, walls, brick, trees, windows. Because each of the woods in the kit has got a number on it. Although I have got some extra balsa wood that I had from when I used to do model railways when I was uh, young. Which would be useful for the walls because they're white. Um, and then I also I bought these knives on uh, um, Lidl or Aldi years ago probably about the same time I bought the kit I guess uh, which I've never used and they're really useful for like cutting out the um, wood and there's a sharpening stone as well for sharpening the knife on so I've just started by cutting the first piece of wood which is going to be the grass at the bottom of the picture so that's going to go uh, there on the thing and then I'm just cutting the next bit which is some bushes to the left of the house. I'm not going to have the next door's house in it, I'm just going to have that as a big bush. So uh, basically the idea of doing marquetry is that you uh, use the piece of wood you've already cut as a template for the next piece so it um, fits well and that's called the window method. So you can mark on the wood uh, the shapes uh, using some um, tracing paper or carbon paper sorry like that so you put that on with the carbon downwards and then draw around the picture with the wood underneath and it comes out on the wood and this I've just started to cut so I've cut the bottom of the bushes and then um, I've marked on the top of the bushes I'm going to cut now I've been out all day doing different things and um, resealing my shower and things but now I'm back onto this um, and then once you've cut the bits out, you then glue them together with some, uh, with some PVA wood glue. So you build up the pitch like that, but not stuck to the backing board. And then you use the, as you build the picture up, you use the next bit as a template for the next bit. It's all supposed to fit together really well. And then when I've finished, you stick the whole thing onto the backing board, which I'll need to cut down because it's this isn't going to be as big as the picture that the kit is supposed to make. And then you um, finish the sides and the back of the um, wood with some more of the veneers. So I'll come back to you when I've done a bit more on it and we can see how it's getting on. Hopefully it'll be good enough to give to them and it won't all have horrible gaps everywhere. I think you're supposed to varnish it when it's finished as well. Well this is as far as I've got today. I've done the background and the roof. Um, it's really infuriating this thing. Each of the woods um, behaves completely differently. Some of them split. Like this dark wood here for the trees, that spit splinter off it without you even noticing. Um, it tells you to use sellotape in the thing to hold things together and that makes a gooey mess everywhere. I've got to try and get off with some white spirit or something. So yeah, it's a bit of a challenge, but I don't think I'll be doing it again in a hurry. Um, so the next thing to do is to cut out the bottom of the roof outline here, which is marked with the um, carbon paper. And then put the add that bit of porch roof back in with the different um, veneer <coughs> orientation. And then do the white walls and then there'll be the windows to cut out and do in a different colour. And the um, conservatory is going to be a bit of a nightmare. I'm not quite sure what to do with that yet. 
uh, but it's got somewhere anyway. It's got a few horrible gaps around. It tells you also to butt up the veneers and <coughs> glue them together, and that doesn't really work. So on the back, I've uh, held it together with bits of paper at the moment. Uh, so I hope that'll work. Anyway, here we go. So I've been doing about another hour on it this morning. It looks better on the camera than it does in real life. It's got some quite big holes in place. The next job is to cut the windows out of the white wood. We'll do something about this conservatory, I'm not sure which. So I'm just going to mark the windows on. I was wondering what to do with the bay window as well, but I found this amazing zebra wood. The only problem with it is the number 113. The problem with it is it's very fragile and breaks as soon as you even look at it. So that's for that window there. An easy way to do it all in one piece. Now, um, I found some nice red wood for doing the garage door, which is red. And I've cut out the bottom where the brickwork is and started to put some brickwork in there. And then I'll have uh, three more win windows and a door to put in. And then the dreaded conservatory to think about. So I've had a bit of more of a session on this. And as you can see, I've done all the windows now. Um, and the brickwork along the bottom. And the only real thing to do now is the... A conservatory that needs to go here which I've had a few ideas about sort of building up in strips of light and dark wood. Okay so I've made them start on the conservatory now I've cut the hole out for it and I've started to put the windows in and I'm doing these like building on the paper rather than trying to cut holes in things uh, because it's all very fiddly. Um, unfortunately the geometry's gone a bit wrong here and also around here. Um, the problem is on the picture the doors are open which is rather confusing. So I've done another session on the house. Um, I've finished the conservatory now. The perspective looks a bit crazy but it's difficult to get the angles right. There's like really subtle angles. Um, I've also solved the problem I had over here. Um, my first attempt ended up with a join in the light veneer which looked horrible so there is a patio there so I decided to put the patio in to cover the mistake up and then I decided because I'd done that I really needed to have the driveway in as well this side okay so I've had a final session to try and sort the conservatory out and make that bottom of that window more parallel with the top of it unfortunately now it means it's not parallel with the front of the house but never mind uh, I've had so many goes at getting this right, I'm going to give up now. Uh, to fill up the gap that was here, I've added the path in, going all the way around the house now, uh, just to cover up a gap that was there. Uh, so the next job will be to cut the backboard down, because it's a lot bigger for the original kit than it needs to be for this. And then this big bit of veneer will go on the back of that. Uh, some of those bits will go around the sides, and then there'll be a border around the picture itself. Okay, so now we're just gluing the sides and the back on. Um, as you can see here, I've glued the back on already, and that was left under a filing cabinet and some books to help it stick while it was drying on. But now I've got the one of the sides, which is at the top at the moment, gluing, and it's wedged. The whole thing is wedged between the, book, the bookshelves and a book. And basically the um, sides need to overlap the back, so you can't see that joint. And the um, front then will overlap the side, so you can't see that joint either. So I've now put the uh, veneers around the sides of all the, the backboard. And I've glued the picture on last night, which seems to have really flattened out where it was bumpy. So that's really good. Uh, better than I expected. And I've marked on the backboard these 45 degree lines. This was a diagonal going right the way across. I was just experimenting but I need to cut these 45 degree lines for the borders I've already cut out my borders for one side so they're ready to glue on so basically it's going to have a dark strip to contrast with the generally light background of the picture at the edge then a light strip then a dark strip and then that's going to tr be trimmed on the left hand side to the backboard I've also cut out so the angles match the top. I haven't done the inner filler strip, I'll just do that by eye afterwards. And the bottom I cut. So the next job 
is to glue these three left hand sides in place and leave that to dry for a while and then I'll come back to you when I've done all those borders in a second well in a few days but in a second in the video so now all the edging's done all the way around and it just needs um, sanding down and varnishing now and some um, wire put on the back to hang it up with so here's the completed picture all varnished and it's looking quite good now um, and it's got some wire on the back to hang it up unfortunately I drilled the holes in the wrong end but fortunately it's on the back and you can't see it too much so there we have it thanks for watching